Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Find Your Model Health. For those looking to optimize their long-term health and weight and learn about their body and how it works. So I am Shmaine Laney. I'm a biohacker and fitness and nutrition expert, and I'm super duper duper happy to have you back with me today. Um, I hope you're keeping really well, and we're going to keep this podcast really short and do... I wanted to do kind of a physiology 101 kind of learning podcast on the menstrual cycle. So don't turn it off. You may learn something. Um, And the more I speak to women, I realize that not a lot of women understand how the menstrual cycle actually works. So we're going to look at that today really quickly. So we start off menstruating. So menstruation typically begins or signaled by a drop in progesterone and estrogen. So that drop in progesterone and estrogen signals bleeding. So FSH, your follicle stimulating hormone, increases. FSH creates more estrogen. More estrogen creates more LH, so that's luteinizing hormone. More LH creates more progesterone. When estrogen starts to drop, progesterone stays high, then estrogen and progesterone drop and that signals bleeding in the end. So that's kind of the general physiology of your cycle. Um, Most people are clueless to it when I talk to women Uh, I'll say, hey, how long is your cycle? And most of them will say, oh, it's three days or it's seven days. And I'm like, no, your menstruation, so your full cycle. So your cycle is from day one, your first day of bleeding, to the next day one. So typically 28 days later. Um, And most people get that confused. So your cycle or your full hormonal rhythm, day one to day one, how much you menstruate is going to be then how much you're bleeding. So your full menstrual cycle is day one to day one, but how much you menstruate is how much you're bleeding. So your period time, so to speak. Um, So let's just take a little bit of a step back. Again, I'm going to keep this pretty short. So menstruation is signaled by the drop in progesterone and estrogen. So first we got progesterone and estrogen, they drop. Then menstruation happens. So that's the bleeding, the shedding of the uterine lining. Um, Once we get the drop in progesterone and estrogen, then we get your menstruation, your bleeding. That's going to happen for a few days, anywhere between three to seven days. We don't want to go more than three to four tampons per day on average, or if you're using pads, you're looking at two pads a day. And we really don't want to bleed for longer than seven days. Um, that's kind of average. If we're going further or bleeding more than that, then there's chance that we could lose too much blood and we will go um, anemic because of that, or there's chances that we will. So then next, after that, FSH or follicle stimulating hormone starts to increase again. Now follicle stimulating hormone is our brain hormone. um, And that's, starts to make the follicle grow in the ovaries. That follicle starts to produce estrogen and estrogen starts to rise again. As estrogen starts to rise, that starts to signal luteinizing hormone, which is our other brain hormone that talks to the ovaries. And then we got progesterone. That starts to rise typically around day 12 to 13. So here we're at day 12 to 13. Our estrogen's kind of leveling out now. That signals luteinizing hormone. So that then causes our progesterone to start going up. And once progesterone's going up, then at some point, estrogen is going to fall again. Progesterone will stay up and estrogen will fall again. Then around day 28, they both fall, and that has your menstruation, and then the whole cycle starts again. 
So that's kind of the basics of how the menstrual cycle works. So we've got the rise in the estrogen, then the rise in progesterone, then we've got the leveling out of the estrogen, and then we've got the drop of both, we got the signaling of bleeding, and then we got the whole cycle begins all over again. So that is um, your menstrual cycle, if you're a woman. I hope you found that helpful and I hope you kind of understand now what's happening to you on a daily basis or a monthly basis in regards to your cycle and what's happening with the hormones as you go through that. Okay, um, have a great week everyone. That's it. I wanted to keep it short. I hope you found it helpful even a tiny bit um, and I'll chat to you guys later. Bye bye.